what's that one thing? What is that one thing that I want to hold on? Kailangan ba isa lang? Isa nga lang, hirap ka pa eh. Tadamihan mo pa? Alam mo na yung dapat mong gawin, pero bakit ayaw mong sumunod? Again, this is our one thing message. Hold on to one thing. Sabi mo ako ulit, hold on to one thing. Maybe you're asking the question, di ba? Parang, ano yung one thing? What's that one thing? What is that one thing that I want to hold on? Allow me to give you four questions to help you discern what's this one thing. Are you ready? Say, I'm ready. If you have, uh, kung meron kang papel at ball pen, isusulat yung sagot, mas maganda kung meron kang mobile, yung, okay, so mobile phone na lang. Bakit? Kasi mamaya, kung gamitin po natin to, yung sagot ninyo. So, game na ba kayo? Yeah. Yeah, parang game show lang, no? <laughs> First question. What is one thing you want? Diba nakakatuwa, no? Tinanong, ano yung gusto mo? Hindi yung panong kailangan mo, ha? Kaya lang isa lang. What is that one thing you want? Kung isang araw, nagpakita si Lord sa'yo. Nagpakita si Lord sa harapan mo. As in, face to face. Tinanong ka, anak, bibigyan, bibigyan kita isang bagay. Anong gusto mo? Anong gusto mo? Ano kaya sa sagot mo? Lord, love life. Sige na, Lord, ngayon 2024 lang. Lord, pera. Lord, mas magandang trabaho. Lord, mas bakit negosyo. Lord, buhay na walang problema. Most of the time, we base our wants to the things that we see that we do not have. So kapag tatanungin ka ngayon ni Lord, Anak, ano ba talagang gusto mo? Have you watched Bruce Almighty? Yan. Alam niyo, ang favorite part ko doon actually, yung tinanong siya. Tinanong ni Morgan Freeman, si Jim Carrey. Morgan Freeman is playing God, the character, the role of God. And he asked Jim Carrey, what do you want? Ang sagot ni Jim Carrey that time, world peace. Natawa. Natawa si Morgan Freeman. And Morgan Freeman asked again, What do you really want? And Jim Carrey stated what he wants, not for him, but for his wife. This is what I really want. Now again, I'm gonna ask you, pag tinanong ka, ano ba talagang gusto mo? O masasagot mo ba yan? O ang itatanong mo sa akin, o ang isasagot mo sa akin, bro, kailangan ba isa lang? Isa lang ba dapat? Alam mo, kapatid, ito yung sasagot ko sa'yo. Isa nga lang, hirap ka pa eh. Tadamihan mo pa? Isa lang muna. Ano ba talagang gusto mo? Taas ang kanang kamay ulit. Tapikin ang katabi sa kanan. Yung ano, kanan niya, kanan. O, oh, kala niyo, ha? Ginugulo ka lang kayo. <laughs> Sabi mo sa kanya, kapatid, Uulitin ko, ano ba talagang gusto mo? Tapos ang kaliwa, tapos kinakatabi sa kaliwa, himas-himasa mo ng konti. Sabi mo sa kanya, kapatid, ikaw, ikaw ang gusto ko. Alam niyo nakakatuwa ang isipin, we can read in the Bible, King Solomon. Who's King Solomon? King Solomon is the son of David. He asked God for one thing. He asked God for one thing. What is that? Let's read. It says here, from 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 9, A listening heart to judge your people and to distinguish between good and evil, for he is able to give judgment for this vast people of yours. A listening heart to who? Solomon asked for one thing, a listening heart, a heart that listened to who? Not just to anyone, but he wants to listen to God. He wants to listen to God, just like his father David, who is after, who desires and after God's heart. He wants to listen to God to be able to be better, to be able to be bolder, to be able to, to know and judge fairly. He wants to listen to God, to be able to align, to be aligned with God, to be with God, to be with His presence. 
Anong gusto ng Panginoon na gusto na, na, Para mas magandang English na lang ano. <laughs> What is God wants you to do right now? If you think about it, anong dapat mong gawin? Before you answer this question, let me let, let me give you another question. Ang tanong kasi, paano mo malalaman ang gustong ng Diyos na gawin mo kung hindi ka naman nakikinig sa Kanya? Nakikinig ka pa kay Lord. Mahirap sumunod kapag hindi nakikinig. I've, I've, I've realized it. Obedience, yes, it brings blessings. Do you agree? How will you obey if you don't listen? I realized this when I had children. I love my kids when they're obeying. I, I do. Yung pasensya ko, okay. But when they're not obeying, mm, mm. but then this is what I realize, especially my old, my, the, the, my, my, our eldest, Ralph, when Ralph is so focused on what he's doing, whatever it is that I'm telling him, if I'm telling him to do something, kung magamit may inuutos ako, may kila, anak, may gawin mo ato, anak, gawin mo ato, kapag hindi siya nakikinig, hindi siya susunod. Are you with me? Then I realized that. So, hindi ako naiinis. I get, I get his attention. Ralph. Ay, so, ay, wala pa na live stream to. Buti na lang. Ralph. Oh, by the way, wala tayong live stream, ha? Hindi na tayo online. We're, we're gonna post this recording later on. Ralph. Then I call him again. Ralph. When I get his attention, okay. Then I tell him what he needs to do. Then you know what? Ask me what? He will obey. What am I trying to say here? My dear friends, si Lord may sinasabi sa'yo. Wala pong masama sa pagsunod, ha? We always obey, lalo-lalo sa Panginoon. Obeying is not a question. Why obey is not a question? Why not actually obey? I, I think that's the question. But hindi ka sumusunod, di ba? But God is calling you right now. Ang ganda ng question natin kanina, reflection question. Di ba? God is calling you right now. Ang tanong, naririnig mo ba yung tawag? O naka-silent ka? Naka-do not disturb? Alam nyo, maybe God is calling you to reconcile with a friend? 2024 na. Di ba? Patawarin mo na yung kaibigan mo. Or maybe an office mate or a business partner. Maybe God is calling you to have an LST with someone today. Alam niyo yung parang nararamdaman mo, parang kailangan ko siya yung LST. O baka mamaya, baka ako kailangan ko ng LST na. Maybe you're asking, what is LST? Love someone today. Merong booklet yan. Maybe God is telling me, calling me to disciple someone today. Maybe yung katabi ko, kaya accountability partner ko to eh. Kailangan hinahanap ko siya eh. Maybe God is calling you to ask someone, kamusta ka na? This is between me and God. Whenever I I remember a name, alam niyo yung parang nagdadrive ako one time, nagdadrive ako, bila akong naalala isang pangana, nagpap sa otak ko, tatawagan ko yung tanong yun. Sa, some of the leaders here experience that. I just ask the question, ay, kamusta ka na? And th th that person usually, parang, bro, bakit? <laughs> Anong alam mo? May mga ganyang hirit na mo. Na, parang sabi, na rin, naalala ko yung pangalan mo bigla. I, I would like to believe that God's in telling me to call you or to ask you, kamusta ka na? Sometimes we need that. Pag may naalala kang pangalan, hindi dahil may kailangan ka sa kanya. Are you getting me? Why not ask that person, ay, kamusta ka? Naalala kita bigla. Maybe God is, listen carefully, maybe God is calling you to be closer to Him. Not just on a Sunday. Not just during feasts. Not just from 9 to 12. No. Maybe God is calling you to be closer to Him each day. Every day. Baka iba sa inyo, regular attending na ng feasts. Maybe today is the time for you to ask, paano maging, maging part ng life group? I want a journey with someone knowing God deeper. Side note lang ko, okay lang po ba? 
Yung mga leaders po ninyo, hindi po perfecto yan. Ako po lalo, I fail, I make mistakes. We do our best not to. We do our best not to commit sin. Kaya sana po, kapag may nakita kayong hindi maganda o hindi ka aya-aya, huwag po sana kayong ma-discourage. Hindi nakakawatid ng face, mga ipokrito yung mga tao dyan. Totoo naman po. Lahat naman po kami dito, ipokrito. Totoo yun. Paglabas-labas na lang dyan eh, sa parking na lang eh. Yan ba yung nag-face? Pinipilit ang pulo. Yan bang tinuturo sa church nyo? Hmm, ano? Diba? But with your best. Kasi nagtimpi ka na noon, mga one minute. Sinigita na ko! Pero wait lang. Sinigita pa rin ako! <laughs> Are you with me? Sana po huwag kayo ma-disappoint. Kaya ka po journey. We are journey towards being a better person, a better Christian. Better together. Again, let's go back to the first question. First question pa lang tayo, ha? What is that one thing you want? Answer that question. What is one thing you really, 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 really want? Nasa ka na kamay? Tapi kaya nakatabi sa kanya. Sabi mo sa kanya kapatid, ulitin ko ulit, alam mo ba talaga ang gusto mo? Nasa kaliwa, tapi kaya nakatabi sa kaliwa, sabi mo sa kanya kapatid, ang kulit-kulit mo naman, ikaw nga talaga ang gusto ko. <laughs> Second question, What is one thing you lack? Pagdating sa relasyon natin sa Panginoon, sa ka nagkukulang? Ano yung isang bagay? Isang bagay lang. Isang bagay na kailangan mong i-develop. ba? Diba? Ano yung isang bagay na kailangan mong i-develop? Yung pag-ibig niya sa crush mo, gusto mong ma-develop eh. Yung relasyon mo pa ba kay Lord? Ano yung isang bagay na kailangan mo i-develop para mas makilala si Lord? Para mas mapalapit ka sa Kanya? Para mas magtiwala ka sa Kanya? Para mas sumunod ka sa Kanya? I bet you've been, oh, na naririndi ka na siguro sa obedience, 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 ano? Alam niyo, God is asking us not to understand. We will never understand the Lord. But God is asking us to trust and obey. Are you with me? I remember the story. Rich young man in the Bible. It says here, And as he was setting out on his journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, You know the commandments. Do not kill, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not bear false witness, do not defraud, honor your father and your mother. And he said to him, the rich young man said to him, Teacher, all this I have observed from my youth. Ginawa ko ito si mga pagkabata, Lord. Wala na ba iba dyan? Saan ako nagkulang? Saan ako nagkulang? And Jesus, looking upon him, Love him and said to him, You lack one thing. Go sell what you have and give it to the poor. And you will have treasure in heaven. Come, follow me. Come, follow me. And at that saying, his countenance fell. And he went away, sorrowful, for he had great possessions. Imagine this with me. Are you listening? Say, I'm listening. This young man is no ordinary young man. Why? Ask me why. He's young. He's rich. He's a faithful Jew. Is that a big deal? Yes. Let me explain briefly. Listen carefully. By saying faithful, he follows the law. All 600 plus of them. A Jew has 600 plus laws that they need to follow. And he follows them faithfully. Kung nagahanap ka ng tawan, siya yun. 
So yun, siya na. Kaya lang nung tinanong niya si Lord, Lord, saan ako nagkulang? Sinagot siya ni Lord, sell everything, give it to the poor. You will have treasure in heaven. Come, follow me. He lacks one thing. What is that? Ask me what? Jesus. Do you have Jesus in your life? So anong nangyari nung sinagot siya ni Lord? Nalungkot siya. Bakit? Madami siyang bahay, madami siyang lupa, madami siyang kotse, madami siyang, madami siyang alas, madami siyang pag-aari, madami siyang kayamanan. Pero alam niya, makinig mabuti, alam niya kung saan siya nagkulang, alam niya kung anong kulang sa buhay niya, alam niya kung ano yung kailangan niyang gawin, kaya nga siya nalungkot. Bakit nahihirapan siyang sumunod? It is not written in the Bible. If, if, kung sinunod niya si Lord o hindi. But one thing I'm sure of, this is one thing I'm sure of, we are in some way, somehow in the same situation. Paano? Tanong sa akin kung paano? Alam mo yung dapat mong gawin. Alam mo na yung dapat mong kung tamang gawin. Pero bakit ayaw mong sumunod? Bakit hindi ka pa sumusunod? Or let's put it in, in locally. Simply, let's put it simply. Nakita ka lang na nga. Walang, ano yun? Bawal tumawin. May namatay na dito. Tatawid ka pa din. Ito nga yung nagtataka ko. Dito na lang sa kahabaan ng Kirino. Sa gitna ng SM tsaka ng Pervuteresis. Merong footbridge. May nakikita kang tumatawid. Nakikipag sa mga sasakyan. Diyan na lang sa malaria. Meron pa mga taga-malaria dito. Di ba? Diyan na lang sa mayroong... Uh, ano? Guadanoville. Uh, sorry? Guadanoville. Ha? Okay, yun. May kumakounterflow. Yung iba nakaka-relate to. O yung iba kayo yung kumakounterflow. Alam na nga ang bali! Ginagawa pa rin. Anong sasabihin? Hindi naman ako nakakaba na ang loob ng kasada. Counterflow is counterflow. Kapag just oras ng gabi, ulitin ko lang ulit. Narinig nyo na ito eh. Ulitin ko lang. Sabi ng stoplight red. Ano gagawin mo? Ano na 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 na? Go! Alam na ang bali! Gagawin pa rin. Di ba? Ayaw na mag-move nung akin. Pag-move nga. Ayan. Alam natin na dapat maging mapagmahal. Pero bakit hindi ka pa nagpapatawad? Alam na natin na dapat sumunod. Pero bakit naghahanap ka ng dahilan para hindi sumunod? What is that one thing that prevents you from following Jesus 100%? What is it that prevents you from following or having deep relationship with God? Ano yung one thing na yun? Hindi ko napapansin yung oras. Nasa ano na pa? Third question yung oras. Maba ako kasi yung ating timer. Third question. What is that one thing that you need to let go? Ano yung dapat i-let go? Kapatid, mga mamaya, 2015 mo pa hawak yan. 2024 na, kailangan mo ng bitawan. Panis na yan. Di ba parang yung kanta na lang sa A? Di ba? If loving you must be I really have to set you free. Let it go is not an easy task. Eh, hindi ko na kaya yun. Di ba? Ano yung isang bagay? Isa lang, isa lang muna. Napakadami mo kasing hawak eh. Isang bagay na kailangan mong bitawan ngayon para makamove forward ka sa 2024. Ano yung isang bagay na dapat iwanan mo na sa 2023 na hindi mo na dapat balikan? Ano yung isang bagay isang bagay na dapat mo nang talikuran para hindi mo na kailangan intindihin. Stop living in the past. Start living now. Are you with me? Baka kasi puro ka nung araw. Kasi ganito yan eh. Nung araw kasi. Alam mo noon, ito yung panahon namin puro Ray God! <laughs> diba? Alam mo, it's okay to remember the past. To learn. But it's time for us to move forward. We cannot bring back the past. 
Kahit nanood ka ng rewind, hindi mangyari sa buhay mo yun. Wala pong rewind ng buhay. We can only learn from it and make it better. Are you with me? Kung sumablay ka sa relasyon mo ngayon, make it better this year. If you think you're not a good dad, then be a better dad this year. If you think you're not a better, a good husband, then be a better husband this year. If you think you're not a good Christian, then be a better Christian this year. There's nothing you can do in the past. You need to let go. But what is that one thing that you need to let go? Some of you may need to let go of anger. Yung galit na meron ka. Lalo na yung galit na nag-start noon pa. Alam mo yung hanggang ngayon, hindi mo pa pinakakawalan? Galit na galit ka pa rin? Eh baka mamaya yung tao kinaiinisan mo, kinagagalitan mo, eh patay na. Eh mo, hindi siya humingi ng tawad eh. Bakit mo siya patatawarin? Bakit ako maglilag go? Okay, papayag ka ba isang araw bumabasa mula sa langit? Nagpakita sa'yo mo bilang multo? Will you forgive me? Okay ka ba? Patatawarin mo na? Ready ka na doon? Are you with me? There are things that you need to let go. Start letting go today. Not tomorrow, not later, but today. But let's start with one thing. What is that one thing that you need to let go? Maybe it's pride. Maybe it's hatred. Maybe it's doubt. What is that one thing that you need to let go? Let go. Let go. Amen? Amen. Amen. Fourth question. Fourth question. <laughs> May dalawa na pong nasa harap ko. <laughs> what is one, what one promise of God do you need to claim? God will fulfill His promises to you. Amen? No matter what. God never fails, never gives up, He never runs out on any of us. Do you, do you believe in that? Amen? No matter what happens, God will fulfill His promise to all of us. Amen? Kung di pa siya sumablay, kahit kailan. But for now, what is one promise you want to hold on for 2024? If you're anxious, if you're worried about the future, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans that I have for you. Diba? Plans to prosper you and give you hope. Plans to give you a future. Are you with me? If you're anxious, go to Jeremiah 29 verse 11. If you're doubtful, go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. If you think you're unworthy, go to John 3, 16. God's promise. I love you. John 3, John 3, 16, di ba? Alam niyo ba yung John 3, 16? Okay. For God so loved the world. But the, the, if you summarize that, God is telling you, I love you. If you think you're unworthy, God is telling you, I love you. Go to John 3, 16. If you feel so alone, go to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. I'm always with you. If you're tired, go to Matthew chapter 11. Come to me, all of you, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. If you're afraid, go to Isaiah. So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. If you think, does God answer prayers? I was preparing this for my son. So allow me to read this for him. It says here, Kumingi from Mateo. Kumingi kayo at kayo'y bibigyan. Kumanap kayo at kayo'y makakatagpo. Kumatok kayo at kayo'y pagbubuksan. Sapagkat ang bawat humihingi ay tatanggap, ang bawat humahanap ay makakatagpo, at ang bawat kumakatok ay pagbubuksan. Do you believe God answer prayers? Is no an answer from God? Yes. Do you agree? That's an answer. Not yet. Do you think it's an answer? Yes. So he answered prayers. You just need to ask, knock, and seek, and he will answer you. Amen? Amen? There are so many promises from, from, from God to each and every one of us. Which one of you do you need to take hold of this year? 
So before I ask you to stand up, answer these four questions. I'll just give you a bit. It's five minutes, okay? Five minutes, extra five. I'll give you five minutes. Answer this question. What is one thing you want? These four questions. What is one thing you lack? What is one thing you need to let go? What one promise of God do you need to claim? Answer this four question. Then I, for five minutes, then I'll ask you to stand up. Then we'll do we'll do a prayer for these things. Amen. Amen.